hospital, we're going home. The stars are out of the sky. My little sister's with me. And all of a sudden, the conversation got going on about stars. I stopped him and I said, but you know, God has a name for every one of them. Yeah. Well, my parents, he knows them by name. Just like he knows the number of my hair. That's not a hard equation. Amen. <laughs> hey, now, all of a sudden, it's after hours, it's dark, we're on the way home. My wife gets a phone call. I'm talking about a high dollar doctor. <laughs> And he's world renowned. He's calling my wife from Arkansas. He says, Miss Hart, I don't want to get your hopes up. But something has changed. Jonesboro could not do that particular test. So you know what? I had to be back on Monday. That was Friday. I went and preached the gospel at our church. I told our church, we're not laying down. I pulled my sleeves up and said, we're going to work. <laughs> he walked to the time, we're going to come back on him. Amen. And we, we started to move a, a revival. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so I preached that weekend and had to be there on Sunday morning. Now, Sunday morning, uh, we preach, we leave, and we get to the hospital and, and uh, had a hotel there adjacent to the hospital. We spent our night there, and, and uh, I uh, got up the next morning. I had such a very sickly feeling in my body, and I had not had that type of sickness. It was like the tomorrow of the enemy was trying to attack me, and uh, I understood that attack was going to come, but I was ready for him. Be still. And know that I am God. You shall live and not die. I heard him from the book of Psalms say, You shall live and not die. Declare, amen, the works of God. And, and, and so I, I was uh, prepared and we started to walk to the hospital that had stoned that night. I preached the message one time uh, out, of, out of one of David's stories. How he, he had a man, Brother Smith, who fought a lion in a pit on a snowy day. It's not that it's, it's a lion, but now I'm in a pit. And it's not a pit bad enough. He said snow has come in on me. And, and so I, I looked at my wife and my son, and I said, it looks like I'm going to fight a lion in a pit on a snowy day. <laughs> and I got into the clinic there. I had to go to the restroom, and, and uh, I just threw up some bowel had no food products and I came back to my wife and I told her said, uh, what had happened and uh, I just left it at that she began to call my father so good to have my daddy here called my father and said y'all pray y'all pray uh, so God uh, was moving went back to do this examination the lady was taking all my information she said Mr. Hart how old are you at that time I was 50 she said, my God, you've got a long life ahead of you. I said, lady, you just spoke a prophetic word. In my <laughs> they put me to sleep, did whatever they had to do. When I woke up, the doctor came in who examined me. He said, Mr. Hart, we're sending you back to the clinic. We find no cancer. <laughs>
Praise God. And I appreciate this conference. I appreciate the church, the great church. I appreciate you, ministers. Amen. Allow me to come in and fellowship with you. You have been my brothers. I'm not so acquainted with a lot of you, but some of you, I still don't know your name, but I love you dearly today. I love you. If I could ever do anything for you, I would. Well, sit down. My dad, would you stand up, Dad? This is my father. My father. I am his best son, by the way, too. I hope I figure that out. My mother's not here. She's on dialysis, and we wore her out yesterday. But thank God for my parents. God bless you. Let's give the Lord a glory. Love you.
13th, then we went from there to uh, for the country, right? And um, we were in um, Greenville, Tennessee, and, uh, and then we had a meeting at uh, Manning somewhere. Uh, that was in between there, wasn't it? September. September. We went to Brother Noel too. And then we were in December in Brother Troy oh, here and moved. And then in Royal, there was a meeting in Royal in Illinois. Uh, I traveled several thousands of miles in those months just to be with the brother, just to come together. Well, I want to encourage that fellowship not to compete with anyone, not to build a movement that's ours. Now, while we've been doing that for their activity has been going from country to country, including the United States, and he's been networking brethren, fellowship, come together, let's build, uh, out in California, here, for the weather festival, open just open. And uh, I'm encouraging that as one brother, one voice, for the David Peach. We had a meeting in Spring, Texas. When was that? Was that October? And um, the Lord, wonderful fellowship there. Wonderful. Now, why, why is that going on? Because we need one another. Yes. And we need to come together Amen. as often as we can come together. Then they that feared the Lord, they thought one to another. And uh, we have that adding the body rise up and more to hurt each other, and bruise each other. It's been wonderful divine order in these meetings. And we're not trying to do anything out of the scriptures. And I invite all the brethren, I invite you. Um, brother is going to, I think you're going to take care of that option for the bond. You know? If we'll let you know, you'll put it on the web page, won't you? Any of the brethren want a meeting and have a meeting. And we're Brother Myers in that room in the, that October, Brother Myers. November? I, I get in October. Seemed like you changed it last year. I don't think you did. But, uh, was it November? Brother Arnold? Let's get together. Brother Arnold? You know, like you, we've been to hundreds, maybe thousands of meetings. Yeah. There's a different spirit. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Different spirit. Yeah. Different spirit. Yeah. You know why it's a different spirit? Because the prophet William Saunders and Sherry. Yes, amen. And I got that chair, and you got that chair. Yes, you do. I don't come together to despise you. No, I don't come together to have preeminence. I don't come together. I can be in a meeting and never lift my voice and say, thank God for this meeting. Yes. Thank God for us coming together. Yes. Thank God for us being together. It's a different spirit. Yes. It is the spirit of the Lord. And there's liberty for all. And there's liberty for all. And so I encourage you, brethren, let's come together. I'm just a brother. That's all I am in, in the Lord to you. But I, I, I believe God is doing his work right now. I don't discredit anybody else who's doing the work of God. Let them listen. Let them let the people of God do the work of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be busy about the master's business. Well, I just wanted to mention that. Let's, let's pray for Brother Dax. He was unable to make his meeting. He's suffering with his knees, and he, he's also uh, Royal prayer. David Beck, so the pastor of Royalton, Illinois, is uh, suffering with his knees. He couldn't be here, but he loves the Lord. That's a lively, that's a lively assembly of Royalton. Man, if you've ever been to Royal Illinois, you, they don't even, sometimes I walked in Royalton, and I think, well, we're going to fellowship with you, man. They were already in the service. They were already worshiping. They were already having prayed for one another, uh, shouting, glorifying God. 
And uh, I'd say, when did y'all start? So I'd say, when I walked in the door. Who walked in the door? Praise God for that. So God's good. Uh, Brother Bush, dinner, so uh, come on. <laughs> Direct us in.